Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Welcome back to the Build a Page. We've made it to uh -huh. day five. Baird saying hi. Um, we are working with the Live and Let Grow collection today. This photo of our Starbucks. And this is going to be the scrap lift from Petra. I'm not going to say her last name because I will absolutely butcher it. Please stop touching. Why won't you help me? So my plan is I'm not going to use a white background. I'm going to use this piece that says hello. And we're going to use some kids wow. plates and bowls Thank to get God. everything to line up. So my plan is to flip this over and draw. Hello. And then circle and circle and circle. So that's my plan. We'll do the stitching and then create the layout with the embellishments from the collection. Um, there's obviously a lot easier ways to do this. You could use a cut file. There's there's lots, but we've got some ephemera. We've got the stuff to make the circles. I've got the thread, so let's get going. Just like I said in the opening, I'm just gonna take all of these plates and bowls and just draw circles with my pencil. Then we'll go in with my uh, paper piercer and punch some holes. I don't do it evenly or equally or anything like that. I just punched, I started with four and then I ended up with five holes to one. And I did that three different times for three different colors. I started with the green that I see, uh, I thought was the closest match to the Starbucks green. I then went in with a white and finally I went in with a multicolored kind of green to yellow uh, piece that I felt worked a little bit. It had some of the colors that were in the collection from Jen Hatfield that I'm working with. And that is all that I go about. It's just a simple backstitch uh, pretty much. So you're just stringing it all through the circle. There's multiple ways to do this. I don't like there to be a bunch of bulk at that one spot, if more so than there already needs to be. So I just kind of backstitch. If I can loop it up at the top, I do. And really that's that's all there is to it. Um, when it comes to stitching, I did wanna show you that things happen and it's okay. We, uh, this is just life. Like this is how it goes when you scrapbook. I went to start stitching and I got a big knot, like a knot I could not, uh, get out and then I broke some thread and so I just simply cut it and pulled it out and it just became a second piece of thread to use on the next round when I went to stitch so I did want to show this to you to just show you that things happen to everyone it's not just you I sometimes feel like when you watch these videos sometimes it feels like there's no mistakes because everything is put together so fast and we always tell you that things happen but maybe we don't show you and so this is my way of showing you that I have issues and things happen <laughs> a lot. I, I struggle when I scrapbook. It's not all sunshine and rainbows over here, I can promise you. And so that is why I'm leaving this up. And I left the whole thing in, so look at me. <laughs> But again, just back and forth, really easy. I love the effect that this is going to end up with. It's so pretty, and I'm really glad I found this particular layout to scrap lift. It's a gorgeous layout. I love a good hand stitching. I thought this was going to take forever, and it does take a little while, but it actually was shorter than I was expecting it to be. So that was a major plus. And here it is, all done. Very, very pretty. Uh, my little area of where the string goes is much shorter than I think Petra's is, but that's okay. That's just the way I worked it with what I had on hand. I went into this pattern paper collection and found this gorgeous piece that has that fun little border. And I wanted to keep the border. So I have to cut out the inside of it because that is also gorgeous and I don't want to waste it. So I'm cutting that part out first. I'm going to then trim my main paper that has the stitching. And I'm then going to trim this paper that you see me doing the outside of it as well. So I can add a white border because there's the white stitching and the cups are that crisp white right from the Starbucks cup. So I needed there to be one more element of white just to tie it all in together. But I really love this. And this is how I was able to personalize um, the layout. So it's scrap lifting. That's definitely the point is you get inspired. It's the same thing with a sketch. You get inspired with a certain element or whatever, and then you go ahead and make it your own. 
And this was me personalizing it and making it my own and work for me. I'm a big fan of borders. I do them on almost every layout currently. It's not something I always used to do, but it recently, it, I think almost every layout has at least a minimal, a, a small border. Like <laughs> I love them. And so this was just my way of being able to make it work. And if I don't have a border like this, I hand draw like with a pen. So yeah, I love borders. <laughs> Next up, I need to add a layer underneath my photo, just something to pop it up. I went into some pattern papers that I already used, so I wasn't cutting into another full 12 by 12 sheet. And I thought I was gonna go with this wood grain, but then I ended up switching it for the stripe because it brought in a little bit more of that green feel to it vibe. And it looked really nice against the stitching. I also had this acrylic. Now I don't know where it came from. I've had it forever because I've been hoarding it. And it says all the feels. And I had a plan of documenting, you know, like my family or something like that. Not coffee, but you know, that's fine. It works for this. My journaling, I might have some hidden journaling about this one. This was literally like the last photo pretty much taken before we got on the ferry and headed home from our uh, anniversary getaway. So there were a lot of feelings involved in this. I just thought it worked really well. So we're going to go ahead and work with that. I am going to add in some florals. I tried to get those butterflies from the collection worked in. They just, they were too big. It wasn't working for me. I couldn't, I just couldn't make it work. So I'm going to pull those butterflies out However, I do have these amazing puffy butterflies from Shadney and they're all different colors, but they matched the colors within the collection, which I was very excited about. So that's going to be my final touch that I will add. And you'll see that in a minute where I just add a couple puffy uh, butterflies to mimic what I saw in Petra's layout. And other than that, pretty much going to wrap up this layout. I had so much fun creating this, the last one of this series. It was fun to work with one shape, but scrap lifting and just using the idea of a circle in different ways and how you can make that work and have such very different layouts. So here's a look at my finished layout. Thanks so much for spending some time with me this week, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye, everyone.